Hey guys, I'm back. I got some seed bead, a seed bead necklace here that's kind of stuck on a couple things. A couple cool things. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see this. Untangle it. Look on the ends. Here it is. It's got a crocheted end. It needs a button. There's a button holder. Button hole, but no button. This is nice. Oh, there's an earring still stuck to it. Oh, I had this, so this is the second. This is the match. Mark the site. Oh. Oh, okay. That's pretty. I like those really full necklaces like that. With the seed beads or, um. There's another stone, I think, or something they use. This was an earring. It's, it's very nice. I would use it as a pendant. Take this part off and just put a chain on it. Because that's cool. Let's see if it sticks to the magnet. Nope, but it could be tin. <laughs> so I would test it. Testing. And this, this one has keys on it. They kind of look like real keys. Like to me to a jewelry box or something, the chain's broken, but don't they look like real keys? Not, not a charm. Huh. I don't know. Interesting. Of course, if it is to a jewelry box, I'd like to find the jewelry box. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I think this is a belt, though. Not a necklace. But you can wear it as a necklace, I'm sure. It would work as a necklace, but I think it's one of those Bollywood type uh, belts. It doesn't make any noise. This should be bells. It's very heavy. This would probably stick, huh? No, it doesn't. How weird. These sterling? It'd be nice if it was. I think it's heavy. Oh! I noticed something when I was gathering my stuff to bring it inside. Where'd it go? That pretty black bead. Here it is. And this. Okay. These fit together. Oh. Another side. So, I'm guessing it was part of that and something hung it from here. And there's another piece on the other side somewhere. But there's no way to get this string out. I've tried. I thought this would... This was like a plug or something. It would come out. Then you restring it and push it back in, but it didn't come out. <laughs> so I think not. <laughs> that was a misconception. Oh, this is pretty. It's fixing, but that's okay. Oh, and it's also missing a piece here. Okay. This piece is missing. See over here it has a round one, but it looks like it doesn't even need it. If I can get that one off, it's clean. That one looks red. This one looks blackish red. But this needs just a jump ring here. It is beautiful. Is that amber? I think it's plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. That kind of looks like hollow. But this is beautiful. I haven't seen one like this. I don't have a statement necklace that looks like this. I want to see if there's a... Nope. But it is pretty and long. And you can even, if you wanted to, you could take this part off and just have it as a collar necklace. Of course, you have the two holes there. But you can put rhinestones there to close off the holes. Or pearls, whatever. Yellow bead. <laughs> Here's a cool bead. Bead. Yeah, so something fell apart in there. 
Uh oh. And this. Shoot. Come on. I get the string here. Or it's actually wire. Oh, it's got half of it. A barrel clasp again. I already used that. Oh, no, that's the barrel clasp. It's all there. But see, this is broken here. It goes to the same. That was the same one, right? I don't know. Maybe the string just came off of this. No, I'm not taking it. I'm taking it out of the new jar. I mean, the jar I'm supposed to. These are pretty, though. These look black. Wood. It doesn't go with that, but... That is nice. I'm gonna keep this fishing wire thing long, far away from the other piece. And, you know, how I love wood jewelry. I thought these were stones inside the jar. Okay, just a second. I'm gonna close the lobster, I mean the barrel clasp. I, maybe a five foot tower? I thought this was stone. It's not, it's wood. This is a very pretty and interesting wood necklace. What do you guys think? It's nice, yeah? Yeah, it rolls. <laughs> I like that one. Of course, I've, I've liked almost everything so far. I thought when the jar was full, I, I mean, you know, when before I opened it, I thought I saw some dumb scene. I'm hoping. This could be silver. I don't know what it would be for. Oh. It has a hole, so maybe that's a pendant. Uh, an odd looking pendant. Maybe it would hang like this. But that look how sharp that is, man. If you fell on your like fell forward on your bed or something, that could impale you. That's kinda scary. It doesn't stick. Okay, I'll test it. Gee whiz. That looks scary though. Okay, this wasn't Okay, that's gotta go. This was an earring. I have no idea what it is. It looks like an eye of some sort. But I have no idea. Oh, maybe it's the head of a dragon. There's the eye, there's the nostril. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. So that will go and craft. Because if I have no idea, I can't sell it. Well, if someone asked me for it. So you remember that? Thing you said you didn't know what it was, and so and so and such. I'm like, oh, yeah, do it away. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is a weird class, but I think it goes like... I don't know how it goes. Somehow it's supposed to lock together. You guys seen these, I'm sure. How are you supposed to make these lock together, anyway? See... Okay, anyway, this is a Y, or not a Y necklace. It's got these beautiful, I think these are glass, uh, no, these are plastic crystals, but they're so pretty. And pink and white. Oh, it's a Y. Yeah, that's a Y. It's very pretty. And shiny. For being plastic, especially. Oh, man, but this is not good. Whoever made it didn't do it right, because... It's uneven. You see that? The the one chain over here is shorter than that one. So they don't line up. I can fix that though. So I'll put this in the fix it pile. You gotta count the links sometimes, you know. You just gotta make sure it's right if you're gonna do something. Do it right. No. <laughs> this is interesting. Looks pewter. I don't think those are letters. Huh. You guys, if you guys play games and stuff, do you know what this is? Because it looks like some kind of medallion that goes to a game. I'm not sure, but it feels pewter. Here is a, I don't I know, an earring, maybe a bracelet. Oh, it works as a bracelet. Okay, we'll call it a bracelet. And a broken chain here, which is in this condition. I yeah, hate hearing something that sounds like gunshots, you know? Oh, here's another big statement type necklace. Actually, it's not a statement necklace. So, well, I guess you can call it a statement necklace. What makes a statement necklace a statement necklace anyway? Is it because they're bulky and big? It's just really dirty. 
I have no idea what makes a statement necklace a statement necklace. <laughs> this is wood, though. See, it's really dirty. It needs to be cleaned. I wiped it off, but I love it. I would love it more if these were stone, but that would be so heavy. But I like heavy jewelry. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, it just needs to be cleaned. It's so smooth. The more the clean parts are smooth. I love this one. This one. Oh, this is heavy. Heavy, heavy, and different. In a good way, different, I think. I, these look like little basketballs and stuff, but no. They got some really interesting beads here. And they tied some suede. I think I would get rid of the suede tie. You know, these ribbon-looking things. They got some polka dots. They got some stripes. These are heavy stone. These are stone. I don't know what kind of stone. But they are so heavy. At least it feels like stone. Polymer clay is not heavy, right? So, I'm not sure what this is made out of. But it is heavy. <coughs> Interesting again. I like that one. This is... Says... Heckel Haas Company. Plate number such and such. I am not sure what this necklace is for. Or why you would wear it. It has this really cute material flower on it. I do not know what that is. And it has a chain. I'm going to research that. Because it's confusing me. It's like I'm in the Twilight Zone or something. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'm in a silly mood today. I want to finish this so it doesn't... Uh, oh man, I thought this opened. It looks like it. <laughs> a clamp bracelet. It doesn't open. It's just a ring. A copper ring. Doesn't fit me. Sorry. Take it back. Get another size. <laughs> I guess it could be a kid's bracelet. But wouldn't that be horrible if it got stuck on them? Because they wore it and wore it all the time. And Here's another. I'm guessing this is Jewish. And this is Yiddish or something. I don't know. My husband doesn't read Yiddish. He's, ha he's part Jewish. Well, he was raised... I don't know if he's... Well, yeah. <laughs> this is interesting, too. This is pewter. I'm guessing it's pewter. Look at that. Somebody did some beautiful work here. It's very heavy. And it's on uh, just a cord. Oh, I guess that was an earring, because here's the other one. So it wasn't a bracelet after all. <laughs> I just got to fix it into an earring. And this one is an earring, which would make a beautiful bracelet. Wouldn't that make a beautiful bracelet? It's big enough if you cut the these two things off, you just slide it on your wrist. That's beautiful. Hope I have the other one of that. Oh, let me see if there's a name of a maker in here. Nope. Here's a little pin of a bug. I'm guessing it's not a ladybug. Ladybugs are red and black, not... Yellow and black. Oh, cool. This is just a a band where you can put slide charms on, too. I don't have... I didn't have a band, but I have some slide charms from a long time ago. This is beautiful. I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. Look at the stones on that down here. It's like a plummy rose color. And then this is the plastic. But it is pretty. You guys like it? And there's a rose right there. I think it's beautiful. <coughs> I don't know. I still have problems with my... Sin I have sinusitis, so... The, I cough a lot. From it going down my throat. Especially while I'm trying to breathe. Oh, this is the one I thought was Domicene. You guys tell me, okay? Because I told you I don't know what Domicene really looks like, but this looks like Domicene to me. What do you think? Yes, 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 no, no, no. Look at the back. I'm testing it because it looks like it has gold. But it is gorgeous. This is what I saw through the jar. There was some green on it, though. Oh, right up there at the top. This is a beautiful brooch, and it is Domicene, right? You guys, 
that know what Dom C looks like? <laughs> just say yes. No, I'm just kidding. Tell me the truth. This is pretty. I thought that moved, you know, these, because it looked like, uh, like they put it on there. But no, it's solid. It's beautiful. Sparkles, even though it's not a sparkle. Piece. That is not a sparkle piece. Sorry. This is part of an earring. Somebody started to make. Oops, I put it in the other drawer. I should have put it in crafting. I'm not sure which way this goes because I can't understand. Oh, it probably goes like this because that's how the shield looks like it would go. It's a very old brooch. It says U35K. Ew. Oh, it's got foam on it. That's gross. I hope that's foam and not some kind of growthy thing. Because I touched it. I gotta wash my hands. My, uh... Hand sanitizer is outside on the table. Ooh, I like this chain. It says, oh, it says 14K, but that doesn't mean it is. If it is, it's it's very heavy. Look at how beautiful. No. <sighs> Gross. Okay, look at how beautiful this chain is. It is long. Look at the clasp. And it says 14K right there. Can you see it? 14K. But this is... I'm going to go ahead and lay it out and then lift up the camera so you guys can see it. It is beautiful. Even if it's not 14K. Let me see how big it is. I'll put it on... Well, I'll put it next to me. It's about 22 inches. Actually, I'm going to put it on eh, when I finish. I'm going to test it right away because I'm curious. But I've had... Uh, I got an ID bracelet, really, really heavy ID bracelet. This is plastic chain, a really, really heavy ID bracelet that said 14 carat on it, but it didn't look it, and it did not test 14K, and I tested it over and over. <laughs> I wanted to make sure. <laughs> this is heavy. I don't know what these beads are. They feel like metal. This is nice. Maybe after I clean it in this. Oh, but the string, no, I don't know about the string. I was thinking put this in the denture cleaner, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just brush that one with the toothbrush. Brush it, brush it, brush it. Now, this one has that foam stuff on it, too. It looks like foam, you know, like foam foam. It's another one of those. I'm going to keep it upside down and wash them off real good. I do not know what that is. But I'm going to say styrofoam. Or the foam, you know. Upholstery foam. Because that's what it looks like. You know, this has something written here. But without my magnifying glass, I can't see it. But look at the mechanisms of this. Now, this could have been like that. No, no, never mind. Well, there is something there. Maybe it was like that. So, oh, I think this was a belt buckle. Doesn't that look like a belt buckle? If it was turned like that and soldered right there, and then this is the part that clips on. That is beautiful. I think it's a shell. Or some kind of stone. Do you guys know what that is? I mean, it doesn't fit all the way. They shouldn't have put it in there. I think I'm just going to take the stone out and throw the rest away. I'll try to do some research. I'm not showing you guys the wooden uh, pieces that I've already shown you that there's a lot of. This was an earring. See? But it's not anymore. Here is a broken box chain. Looks brass or really, really dirty. <laughs> that could be turned into a bracelet if it was clean. Gotta wash that one. Oh, this is heavy. What is this? It's a heart. Has a five on the back. It's pewter, I think. Wouldn't that be nice if this was silver, huh? Somebody melted down all their silver and donated it. <laughs> it's heavy. See? Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, where's my magnet? Well, my magnet won't stick to a pewter either, so I'm not gonna use my magnet. Ew. More of that foam stuff. So gross. I don't know where to put it. 
This is a nice metal looking thing. Doesn't have anything on the back, so she looks important, or he he looks important. I thought it was a she at first, but yeah, I'm gonna research that. Maybe I can put the writing in that way. We have something from the Space Needle, you know, one of those flattened pennies. Space Needle Olympic Mountains. I had one of these, uh, and this one says Seattle, the Needle at Mount Trainer. Those are pretty. I like doing those. I do it too. This is interesting. Oh, it's got a dragonfly. I I love dragonflies, and I hardly ever get them. It's a copper dragonfly with some copper and yellow beads. I think these are just plastic beads. Well, they're kind of cool. They might be some kind of stone. Stretches. I'm going to take it outside and research it. Yeah, they're cold. I think these are stone. Do you guys recognize what kind of stone? It's got like little spider veins on it. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like an agate. This is some faux pearls with a C clasp. Very small blue pearls. It's like a size 15, 16. There are a lot of pins in here, so I don't know if I should keep showing them to you. I don't know. This one says 20K on the back, too. Like the, or 25K, like the other one did. So I have no idea what the 25K stands for. Is that broken? Oh, it was a pier steering, and it was turned into a flip-on by that thing. That is a nice earring. It would make a nice pendant. See, this pulls off of the post. See? I don't know why the post is bent like that, but this is cool. This piece. I'm gonna keep it off of there. Because I do not need it on there. Oh, I like this one. This one I show you. That is nice looking. Looks like a coin, but it's not. It looks old. It's got the old C-class part on it. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's pink. It's a wing, or a feather, I mean. Or a wing, and it has some pink stones on it. It's an earring. Put that in the crap, I mean, in the earring pile. I'm almost at the bottom, bottom, which, you know, most are a bunch of little things. Okay, now I think this might be Betsy Johnson. There's, like, a corset here. A lock. A key. Does that fit? <laughs> it says, I dig you the most. <laughs> the shovel. I dig you the most. This kind of looks over. This, I think, is love in Chinese. My mom's Japanese, but that doesn't look Japanese. It looks Chinese. Or it could be kanji. Oh, here's another penny. This one is from... Oh, wait. Yeah, it's another one. Space Needle. Another one. I was at the Space Needle. Oh, these weren't in there. I must have just dropped a bunch of stuff here. Okay. But this is interesting because it has the corset. Does it have an opening in there? Oh, it goes through? Hmm. Huh. It looks like it's open all the way through. Yeah. It's pretty. I'm going to test these for silver. I don't have, there's no maker mark. There is a clover on the key, so maybe it's a lucky brand. Oh, I just broke the key. Yeah, I just broke the key. Oh, well, this broke off. That's a bummer. I'll still research it. Keep the key part. <laughs> oh, I have stuff up here. Okay, I have some stretchy bracelets. I have a brown faceted bead one. This one has love on it. Stretchy brown. This one says... Oh, it's that, um... What's that hand? I don't remember what it's called. Those are all... I'm guessing those are a set. So I'm going to keep them together. Oh, this is good. Oh, I got the birds. Um, They're worth a lot of money, actually. And it was a very good find. Those uh three articulated... They were... P.O. Pio, uh, bird. I can't remember. This is an interesting wood bead. I like how they put the wire on it. And the wood bead, which I just got up there because I 
pulled a bunch of stuff from the jar up. This is cool. You see the chain? How it's got black in the center? I've never seen that before. That's nice. Oh, there's some trash there. I like that chain. Let's see if it sticks to my magnet. No. Oh, the clasp is nice. So that's 95. Here. Right there, see? 95. See, it has the nice clasp. This might be silver. This was a very good jar for... Uh, what was it? Eleven, seven dollars? No, eight dollars. Seven ninety nine. And this is Sterling the bird. I already knew that though, because they make they only make those Sterling. No, but I hope the other one's in here because the one doesn't really do me a lot of good. I can put the wooden beads in there. Stuff you don't need to see. Got another penny. And it says uh, Washington on it. Seattle, Washington. Oh, this is a beautiful earring. Not gonna move that. Okay, this is a beautiful earring. Look at that. I bet that's silver, even though it's gold. But look at that red. And it gets really dark at the bottom. You see when I put my skin behind it? That is beautiful. I really like the earring. I hope the other one's in there. This is a nice glass bead or onyx bead. Oh, this probably goes to that broken um, necklace that I thought had onyx or something up there. This is, I don't know. This has a, oh, is there a hole? No. It's got a piece of brass on it. Oh, there's a hole up here. So it's a pendant. That's nice. Or part of a necklace. But this... Oh, and there's a red bead. I was covering it up here. That is beautiful. I'm going to put that over here and hopefully get a match. doesn't stick to the magnet. Of course, it could be copper or something. I guess i got to do some more testing tonight. I did some testing today. I found some silver and some gold. Here's a, <laughs> it's a cute little foam earring. Oh, an ice cream cone. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's really squishy. I don't know what kind of material that is. I just say foam. We have this. Really long. Uh, I don't know what you call this chain. I like it, though. Let's see if it's broken anywhere, though. So far, so good. I like the way it feels. It's like a mesh. It's really long. See how long it is? It's got to be a, at least... 30 inches or 25. Let me see. I will put it up to my neck like I was going to wear it. Yeah, it's about 25 inches. It is nice. It has one place where I need to fix it. See right there, this piece has come off. So I just need to hook that back up. And then we're good to go. That is a beautiful chain. This, problem, this most likely sticks because it looks like a... I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> I know my magnet works, really. It just picked this up. So this is not brass. Or copper, I mean. Because I don't think copper sticks. Does copper stick? Oh, this looks like a navy cross type of metal. Like, carbine. Huh? It says sterling 1K on the back. Sterling 1K, and then it says Sterling down here, and Carbine, but this is the Navy Cross up here, right? That is going to look so pretty when it's clean. It's missing its sword, but it's a beautiful piece, because it represents our history. Ah, I got the other clip on, I mean, screw back of the bird. So I got both. I got a pair of that. This is a pretty earring, but it's got verdigris on it. Verdigris, verdigris. Don't know how you say it. Put it over there with that gross stuff. <laughs> that grody stuff. <laughs> Ew, another foam covered thing. I don't know. They must have had on there. I'm just gonna put it with the other ones. Ew. Uh, maybe I'll just toss them. Oh, this is nice. This is one of those 
collar pieces made from the same southwestern type, but it goes on the collar of your shirt and locks in place. I hope I have the other one of that, too. I only have the one so far. Here's a beautiful cufflink. Look at that stone. Is that a cat eye? No, it looks like a moonstone, not a cat eye. Oh, there's no name on the cufflink. Wait, yes, there is. Pioneer. Pioneer. Cufflink. Oops, I, dro I keep dropping little beads. So, the beads will go in the other jar, and this is a pretty pendant. This is a Celtic Arzenary. No, it's a pendant. Celtic knot, or Celtic, yeah, Celtic knot. I gotta research that one, too. They mean something, I think. Some of them. Oh, I have another locket here. Awesome. Can't have too many lockets. I'm collecting them. You don't want your lockets in a tutina. <laughs> yeah, I think I have that fossil one. I think I'm going to keep it after all. This is, I think, a lucite or a big light earring. Looks like really old clip on. This is a nice silver bead, which is probably sterling. It doesn't stick. I'm going to hook those earrings together after I'm done here. And the locket. Let me get it open and then show you the front. It has a butterfly on it. It's in really good condition. Oops, the gold is really nice. And then, but look at that. It needs to be cleaned, but it, it's very nice. Let me see if it has any indications that it's real or not. No, let me see if it sticks to the magnet. No. Nope, it doesn't, so I have to, I have to test it. I'm running out of 18 carats testing stuff, uh, which is a bummer. You can buy it by itself, it's just, I haven't done that yet. I'm going to have to, because I can't see the red one. Oh, it was an earring. I thought it was a pendant. This. So, I'm going to test that. I really do hope that this is not pewter and this is silver. It doesn't look like silver, but I really do hope it is silver. This is Gorgeous. Wait, first this one. This is beautiful. Look at that. This looks sterling, too. I'm gonna test it. Wait, magnet first. Nope, didn't stick. But this bracelet needs to be refixed, but it's that raw tiger eye. Look at how gorgeous that is. These are so heavy and so cold. They're beautiful. But they need to be restrung. I think there's two holes. Yeah. Look at that. I like the raw tiger eye because it has, I don't know, it just seems bolder to me. Like, it has a stronger coloring to it. Bead, bead, bead. Oh, I'm finding a lot of these black beads, so hopefully I'll be able to finish, fix that necklace. Because I can't remember exactly what it looked like. But I liked it, so I'm hoping. This is a pretty bead. Oop. You can't see it now. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where did you go? Oh, way over here. It's a pendant. An egg. I think it's hollow, though. No, it's not. It's solid. But isn't that pretty? Well, I'm gonna look that up. Oh, this is nice. This is the Russian and American flags together. This must symbolize something. The talks that they had. Here's a bead. <laughs> Some more foam pins. You. And beads. This is pretty too. Wish I can read it. Maybe this is Russian some of it. It's beautiful how you when you move it. Okay, I'm almost done, you guys. I know we're at 34, but bear with me. I'll try to go faster. This is uh oh, this is a Trafari clip-on earring. Awesome. I just got my first Trafari in my last jar. And now I got this one. This is very, very dirty. It's got a lot of vertigree on it. But see it says 
Trafari. I don't have... I got Crown Trafari once. I mean, last jar, too. Another pin. <laughs> this is one of those clips that usually hold your bra strap on the hanger. This is a cool earring. It's very heavy. Celtic in origin like. Interesting. I don't see the other one though, and I don't see the other earrings that I wouldn't wanted either. Bummer. Ew. This foam stuff is really gross. You think she could have wiped it off with a towel or something? <laughs> I don't know. This is a really tiny little earring. <laughs> it's a tiny little flower. With the AB thing on it. Is it stick? Because this looks sterling. It doesn't stick. I'm guessing it's a bracelet. But broken. Another pin. I don't know. Looks Catholic. Ew, that one wasn't covered. I don't want to put it with the yucky ones. This is pretty, but I, I don't I don't know what it is. I mean apparently it is a pendant, but I don't know what the stone is or what it represents. You know, I've never gotten a scarab bead. I would I want that on my uh that's on my wish list. Get some Egyptian scarab piece. Oh, wow. This is a watch band, I think. I don't know. Look at that. Doesn't hook together. It's not magnetic or anything. But does anybody know if a watch picks, fits in there? Looks like a watch band. But then it rolls up on itself like this or something. It was... I should have showed it to you before I did it. This part's like magnetic. Feels like. I'm gonna play with it and see what I can come up with. But I'm not sure. Then the bottom has just mainly those <clears throat> black jars on it. I mean, black beads. I do have an elephant here. Okay, let's look at that. Here's a rose bead, which I always, I love those. And we have another penny, another flat penny. This one's Seattle Wonderland. I, don't, I guess that's a park. Oh, the elephant's missing some kind of stone. See? His trunk's up, though. There should be a stone here, I think. He doesn't stick. I'll test him. This says... I think this is sterling. I cannot actually read what it says, so... Nine two five, there, right there. Nine two five. Then what is it? Oh, look at that! I just saw it right now with you guys. That looks like um, landscape or some kind of obsidian or labradorite. What do you think? Look at it move the lines. Is this labradorite, you guys? Oh, it's not cold at all. So maybe it's not even a stone. I have no idea. Oh, I have two of these, so... Oh, these are earrings. I thought it was a pendant. Well, they could still be pendants. But since I have two, I might as well make them earrings. Right? Right. Oh, this is a pretty bee, too. I'm pulling out the different ones that you haven't seen. Kind of the same shape as the A. Feels glass, but it's plastic. It's pretty. I like the color. We have a uh, navy cross sign again. Do I have this already? I have three of these, I think. So, I guess it's a pendant and a necklace. I'm mean, earrings and a pendant. See what's at the bottom here? Oh, I have another one. I have another one. So that's four. That's good. Another ice cream cone earring that you saw already. Another pin. I don't know what that is. It's got a little bit of foam on it, too. 
This was really an awesome jar, especially for the price. I have got a, an old silver screw back piece with nothing hanging off of it. And then I got this really cool silver bead that might be sterling. I don't actually it seemed kind of light, but that's okay, I'll test it anyway. And at the very, very bottom, there is a religious medal. Let me see if I can get it out. There's a lot of junky trash stuff. I got another earring here. I didn't get the medal. Where is it? Well, oh, here's an earring. Oops. <laughs> I keep dropping stuff. Oh, come on. There it is. It's pretty. It's heavy, actually, for the size. Aw. And a turtle pin. I like him. I will name him. I don't know. I have to think about his name. I don't want to just pick a name out of the sky. <laughs> I had the other one named George. Oh, what is that? I thought it was a religious medal. Looks like a character or a mascot. It looks like a rooster. From what I can see on the camera. Let's see. It says... N-D-T-F. It is a rooster. Notre Dame something. Notre Dame something. It says 10 carat on the back. It says white gold. I will test it and see if it's white gold. That would be awesome. It wasn't very heavy, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be heavy. Or it should be worth something. Well, that is it. This pin, I have no idea, but it looks really old. S K A L P N I. Hmm. I don't even know how to take the back off. Oh, it screws off. So maybe that's gold. Most of the time, if it's gold, you have to unscrew the backings off instead of just pulling it, you know, so they don't want you to lose it. But it, actually, it's not even. Pointy enough to <laughs> put into a shirt. I have no idea what it is, but I screwed off the back. Does anybody recognize what that could be? Here's the backing. It's like a little cap. I'm going to screw it back on so I don't lose it. I have no idea what that is, but I will type that word in my search engine and uh, find out what comes up. But I like the turtle. Now what's that back say? I don't know, it says something. See, the back has words on it, right under the hole. I have no idea. But anyway, I thank you so much, and sorry this video is 43 minutes. I hope you guys come back and watch again when I get another jar. I don't have any right now, but hopefully I get some. Yeah, this is magnetic, because look. I don't know what is magnetic, but I'm going to find out. Okay, anyway, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I can't wait to see you in your videos, and or hear you in your videos, and I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I and have a wonderful weekend. Today's Friday, so enjoy. Let's say Saturday. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. So have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.